Hey guys, and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Once again, we've got access to five amazing assets free for this month only. So we've got the Gladiator Arena Environment Kit, the Dreamscape Stylized Environment Tower Stylized Nature Open World Fantasy, NPC Optimizer Automatic Optimize NPC for your game, EP Master Materials, and Deep Elder Caves. So I'm going to be going over these, covering them, and showcasing them in today's video. So without further ado, let's just get right into it, starting with the Gladiator Arena Environment Kit. So the Gladiator Arena Kit is an environment created in the theme of Roman Gladiator Colosseum or Battle Arena. It contains a set of themed meshes including pillars, architecture pieces, props, flags and more. These are also created with PBR materials. So the package contains all the meshes and the demo level that you can see on the video on screen now. So this features a set of high quality assets and textures, all of which are AAA game quality. There's also collision and LODs for all of the assets as well. On top of that, there's material instancing for customization and a fully finished Gladiator Arena demo level for you to use to see how you can set this up or even just to use in your games, projects, whatever it is that you're using this for. The texture sizes are 4K for some of them, but 2K for the majority of them. There are LEDs and there is also collision with that being both manual and auto-generated. In total, there are 145 meshes, 58 materials and material instances, 131 textures, and three blueprints. So this one looks absolutely fantastic, really high quality, and this is perfect if this is the kind of environment you want to go for. Next up, we've got Dreamscape, stylized environment tower and stylized nature open world fantasy. So this is the ultimate collection of AAA quality assets to build next-gen stylized environments in minutes. So this is built from the ground up for both customization and performance, and it features a large collection of AAA quality assets. So this has over 150 high quality stylized meshes, support for virtual textures, parallax occlusion, a modular tower with interiors, a fully customizable water system with a spline based river crater, and a massive open world demo map. So there's high quality low poly optimized foliage, trees and forests, runtime virtual texturing for grass and plants, modular building with interiors, a next gen auto landscape material with eight layers with fully procedural terrain texturing, Highly optimized material workflow using mass materials and material instances with fully customizable parameters and color palettes, a global wind system allowing for runtime foliage control and stylized particle effects. There's 146 meshes, 13 unique trees and 18 bushes, runtime virtual texture grass and flowers, 23 rocks and cliffs with detail mapping and coverage support, modular tower structure with interiors, village ruins, waterfall material and VFX, Stylized VFX, for example, butterflies, birds, flies, fog, dust, runes, and more. A spline based stylized river creator, so you can drag out the river in the shape that you want. This is suitable for large open worlds and also for all platforms. And an open world demo scene is included as well. So, again, there's 146 unique meshes, all of which have collision and LODs as well. There's 217 materials and material instances with 264 textures and those text resolutions ranging from 64 by 64 all the way up to 4K. So this one I think looks absolutely amazing. You can really see the quality and the detail that has gone into this. And again, it's a stylized pack and it's really, really high quality. And again, they've said very well optimized for all platforms. Talking of optimization, the next asset is the NPC Optimizer. Automatic optimization NPCs for your games. So this is a plugin which provides flexible automatic NPC optimization for your projects. So this is great if you need a large number of NPCs in the frame at the same time, but the standard solution slows down the performance. You can simply just add the optimization component to NPC and then run the game as you would normally. It's as simple as that. This will then give you a huge performance boost as you can see on the video on screen now. So this has automatic optimization based on character and pawn class. There's a huge amount of settings for balancing quality and performance, so you can really customize this to what you want. And there's no limitations for NPC logic. This is fully written in C++ and straight out of the box, so without having to customize it at all, it can be up to six times faster on average. And this does also work on multiplayer games as well. So again, this looks absolutely amazing. If you want or need a lot of NPCs in your game, I definitely recommend trying this one out to see if it works for you. 
Next, we've got EP Master Materials. So this allows you to create any PBR materials with good optimized game ready master materials. So this features nine production ready customizable master materials, 80 template material instances and examples, compact material function libraries included 184 assets, a lot of customization options, so there's over 1800 parameters to make it fully customizable with additionally over 600 switches which allows for controlling efficiency quality trade-off. This distance-based tessellation with customizable settings applied across all layers by default. This supports three types of vertex paint with water, grunge wall, and default full customization setup. Triplanar UV projection mapping, normal map generation and optimization calculation, emissive cropping and cloud panner and glow effects, albedo color adjustment with fuzzy shading and subsurface color control, and it is also efficient and GPU friendly it uses between 100 to 270 instructions depending on the number of features enabled and it can also be used in VR. So there are 9 materials, 84 material instances and 184 material functions. There's 50 textures with the text resolutions ranging from 128 up to 2K. And finally, last but not least, we've got the Deep Elder Caves. So this is a large set of various underground fantasy assets which are perfect for the creation of deep dark caves. So this pack contains assets in different variations such as walls, arches, floors, pillars, rocks, tiny habitat statues, coins, chests, mushrooms and much much more. One specific feature of using the architectural modular parts is that you're able to scale up and down these pieces, for example the walls and pillars, without losing accurate texel density. So simply speaking, the UV mapping stays the same, which gives you more control when creating levels. And that is very good because a lot of times modular packs don't do that. So if you were to scale one piece of wall, the texture of that would look off, whereas this is going to have the UV map stay the same. So it looks great. So this features 250 AAA quality assets of different kinds overall, 29 architectural modular objects for building cave interiors, 178 prop assets, huge and small fantasy mushrooms, rocks of any size, skeleton set, treasure chests in three colors with coins, decals for visual enrichment, well-optimized LODs for all meshes, efficient usage of packed ORM texture maps, easy customizable master materials, blending between materials with vertex color painting on tileable mats, and also a completed cave environment for demonstration. So there are 206 meshes, 20 mass materials and 108 material instances with 181 textures with the texture resolutions being majority 4k but some small ones being 2k. So I think this one looks absolutely amazing this is really really high quality and if you want to create a cave scene this is absolutely perfect I think it looks fantastic. So I think that will be it for this video where I'm just going over the free assets for this month just showcasing them and again this is for October 2023 we've got access to these five assets free for this month only you can keep them forever but you can only get them for free this month i think my favorite one this time around is probably going to be the deep elder caves and let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one is for this month and what you think of all of them overall so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful of me just going over and covering these assets and showcasing them and showing them off to you and if you did please do make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.